Before the production studio in Germany, how and where were your windows created? At the beginning, I did every part of it myself. I measured the window, I cut the glass, I designed the window, soldered it, cemented it. But as soon as you're going back up ladders with big pieces of leaded glass, you need help. Your portfolio must be vast. You've done dozens of projects. Can you take us through some of these commissions? Yeah, I'd love to. The project at the First Unitarian is called Radiance, Reflection and Revelation. It's a 50-foot high glass tower and constructed of uh, prismatic and leaded glass. It's based on the Unitarian symbol of the fire of revelation. You can see this big spiral of fire coming right down through this rather prismatic glass structure. It's particularly wonderful at night. This is the first project in which I used dichroic glass. I've used it here in the window and you get this rainbow effect. And during the daytime, when the sun strikes the dichroic glass, you actually get rainbows out on the street. St. Barnabas in the Desert is in Paradise Valley in Arizona. It has a full spectrum of light, and I spent a great deal of time out in the desert drawing pictures of plant forms. It had been one of the most fertile springs that they had had, and so there were just flowers everywhere. Well, I took the drawings and brought them back, and I interspersed them with musical measure and began a series of organic plant forms that then have the sense of journey and crossings through the musical measure which intersect them in all of the 36 windows. The project at Kuwait is the west window for the embassy. It has a big white marble staircase winding up in front of it. And it was a wonderful opportunity to use the gold leafing techniques that I'd learned in Jerusalem. I've used it very expressively so that it almost appears like calligraphy. At the very end of the corridor, there is a deep aqua window. You almost feel like running and jumping into it. It looks like the ocean from far away. And as you get close, beautiful reed-like structures begin to appear.